Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to disassemble the mag light and also to disassemble the electrical switch on the mag light to take that switch apart and to apply this uh, chemical over here, electric switch lubricant, to the switch contact points in order to make the switch more liable so it doesn't get dim or anything like that when you try to use it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the batteries. I'm going to set these batteries aside. Take the tail cap spring off. Take this uh, ring off of the uh, tail cap. I'm going to now take the uh, lens off the front of the mag light. Now you don't really need to do this to take out the switch, but to put the switch back in you do need to do this. And I'll explain that later. Okay, now that you have the um, mag light tail cap and lens piece removed, you can start working on the switch itself. And what you do is just pinch that off. And then Take this um, 5 64th inch Allen wrench and just put that right through the center of the switch and turn it counterclockwise several times and then you just push it or you got to turn it on then you just push it And it comes out of the uh, the back where the battery is going. Okay, so this is the lamp holder and switch assembly right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the um, the lamp. It's an LED lamp, so it's a lot better than the ones that come with it. Let's set that aside. I'm going to take the same Allen wrench, the 5 64th inch. Use that to take this uh, Allen screw out. Now I'm going to take out this uh, lamp holder. Lamp holder assembly is um, it's going to be this spring and then these two uh, caps on the spring. Those go into the back. The uh, lamp holder and I'm going to just set this whole assembly uh, aside for right now. Now, what's left in here is the, uh, the the contact, the sliding contact for the uh, the lamp holder. Now, this one is uh, the ground or the uh, the negative, whereas the um, this part over here, this is the positive that feeds the lamp. And that um, black piece of plastic right there, that's the insulator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the, um, the sliding uh, strip right here. Kind of tricky. I actually still have that um, Allen screw in there that I used to remove the, uh, the whole assembly earlier in there. So I'm going to use that to push out this um, uh, negative uh, sliding contact uh, piece right here by just simply pushing through the switch onto that strip right there and it's actually pushing um, the strip from from inside so I'm separating that from the uh, the uh, switch so here's that assembly right right here this is the uh, sliding uh, actually this isn't slide itself but it's just, I'm going to just help the sliding contact and then this is the uh, the Allen screw that goes with that, and, and what this does is uh, this digs into the uh, the case of the uh, the mag light, and this is how the uh, the lamp gets its um, negative voltage. I'm just gonna set this aside for now. Okay, here is the switch itself. I'm gonna turn it off. Now I'm gonna separate it. 
Okay, I'm going to set this blue piece aside. I'm going to pull out both of these parts. And this is the core of the, uh, the switch. And the core of the switch, um, basically this is the part that you, you push on with your thumb to turn it on. So what I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to go and put on this uh, electric switch lubricant all over this thing. I'm going to just put it on liberally. And I already cleaned this, so I know it's clean, but if um, if you take apart your own flashlight, I thought I recommend doing that. But if you do and you find it's um, corroded, you might want to try to remove the corrosion with um, silver polish. But there's no corrosion on here. So I'm going to go and put this, uh, put some more grease over here. Reassemble this center side. Okay, now that I have this uh, this core piece reassembled and uh, lubricated, I'm going to go and put this back inside the uh, top of the switch. Okay, it's in the on position right now. You know it's in the on position because um, it's uh, not sticking out uh, as much as it would if as if it were in the on position. So I'm gonna just push it, release it. Now it's in the off position. So now I'm going to go and uh, get these uh, contacts back on. And on these ones, there's a little indentation right there that goes uh, outwards and not towards the, uh, the circle part or the uh, the shiny um, silver, silver plated uh, circular contact part which is uh, that right there so this uh, part right here with the uh, little indentation that points uh, outwards let me go ahead and get this some more uh, lubricant Now this is the uh, the spring that goes into the center of the uh, switch. Go and just put that back in there. And I'm going to take the uh, blue part and put that back onto the switch. Now the switch is reassembled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this part, the sliding contact. I remove that Allen screw for a moment put some grease onto the uh, threads and I'm gonna put that in but I'm not gonna I'm gonna make sure that when I do put it in see how the uh, that pointy thing is pointing uh, downwards and it's not screwed in it's barely screwed in at all and that is uh, so when I do put the whole housing back into the Maglite, it doesn't get caught in the scratch at the inside. I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Okay, this um, right here, this is the um, lamp holder and uh, switch holder assembly. And if you look over here, you'll notice um, a spring. This spring is what uh, transmits the, uh, the, uh, the positive from the battery into uh, the switch. So there's a spring, then there's um, a flat piece of metal, and that actually contacts the, uh, the the switch assembly. So what I'm worried about right now is corrosion between this spring and that um, sheet of metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put some of this um, uh, electric switch lubricant grease over here. I'm going to try to work that lubricant into 
that um, contact area which I can't access because it looks like it's pressed in and it doesn't look like it can be uh, disassembled very easily. Let me just try to work that in there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put in this uh, sliding contact, but before I do that, I'm going to go and put a bunch of this uh, this grease to this part of the uh, sliding contact. So there's a little hole inside here. It might not be very easy to see. And that is for this piece to go in. Now I'm going to go and put a little bit of grease on that flat plate that I had talked about earlier. And I'm going to uh, reinstall the switch now. Okay, now the switch is installed in the uh, the holder assembly. I'm going to work on the spring. Now this spring, I'm going to push this in. This is so that when you're turning the, uh, the lens, the bezel, to focus light, this will cause the, uh, the power to, to stay in contact with the lamp. Because as you're pushing on the, um, on the bezel, this pushes the lamp back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this uh, lubricant on one side of the spring. I'll put it on the other side. I'll put some over on this plate this other side of that cap. Okay, now I'm going to install the uh, lamp holder back into the uh, switch uh, assembly. I'll be careful that when I do this I don't bend this uh, sliding contact strip. Now another th thing is uh, at this point got to make sure that 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 part of the uh, the spring actually goes into this uh, center slot right there. See there's a, a part right there if you can look uh, right through there, you can see that's where um, the switch is, uh, one of the contacts from the switch. So you can make sure that this part right here um, actually goes into that part and contacts the switch and it's not off to the side. So, that in there. I'm going to put this um, Allen screw back in, tighten it, not, not that tight. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to put some more of this lubricant around here. Might as well put the lamp back in now. I'm going to make sure that the LED doesn't have any of this 
grease on it. So now the uh, lamp holder and switch assembly is uh, reassembled. So I'm going to put this back in here. This is one of the reasons why you need to have the uh, bezel off so that if you had the bezel on at this point it would actually push the switch assembly back out towards it and you wouldn't be able to get a feel for the allen screw and how it contacts the uh, the case. As a matter of fact I forgot to put grease on that, that point. So this point right there that is where the switch actually contacts the, the ground to supply ground to the lamp that little spot right there so I'm going to go and put a little bit of grease over there Okay, now that's proper. So on this step, I'm going to put the Allen wrench through the center of the switch. I'm going to rock it side to side and front to back to so make sure that I have that pointy end of the Allen screw back in the same exact place where it was before. I'll tighten it. install the dust cover for the switch and clean this um, LED off Now for the back end of the flashlight, I have this uh, 1500 grit sandpaper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tear off a piece, put some of the switch lubricant on it, smear it on, and I'm going to just sand the back of the uh, case a little bit, and that's to remove the corrosion. And do the same for the uh, tail cap. And also, this is the part that the tail cap spring rests on. So I went over and sanded this area. This is the area where the tail cap makes electrical contact with the case itself over here. So I just want to remove the corrosion on there because corrosion on aluminum is an insulator not a conductor and it corrodes almost immediately. I'm going to work this uh, spring back and forth a little bit to try to scratch off any uh, corrosion. Here's that O-ring. I'm going to put some of this grease around the O-ring too. Got the three batteries back in. And it works.
and the brightness stays consistent even when I'm adjusting the focus on the lamp. And if I try to choose a switch, it doesn't seem like uh, there's any flickering. Okay, and that concludes my video about how to take apart a mag light and the switch on the mag light.